The body of a young Indian woman who died in a Singapore hospital after a brutal gang rape has been cremated. Her body was flown back to New Delhi from Singapore, where she had been airlifted for treatment. The six suspects are in custody, and they include a minor and a bus driver. They are now being charged with murder. The woman and a male companion were attacked and beaten two weeks ago on board a bus. The 23-year-old girl breathed her last during early hours of Saturday in the Singapore hospital. She suffered from multi-organ failure. Her family and officials from the High Commission of India were by her side till the end. The body of the victim was flown in from Singapore by an Air India chartered aircraft. Family members accompanied the body. She fought bravely for 13 days with the brutal wounds inflicted by the demonic. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, Congress President Sonia Gandhi were present at the airport to console the parents when the body arrived. Chief Minister Sheila Dixit and Minister of State for whom R.P. and Singh were among those who attended the cremation soon after. The girl had succumbed to her injuries in a Singapore hospital, the Mount Elizabeth Super Speciality Hospital, yesterday after suffering for nearly 13 days. Now, the government is denying that this cremation was done in any hurry of any sort. Minister of State for Home R.P. and Singh said, and I'm quoting him now, that we wanted to respect the privacy of the family. Even the media has done the same. We did not have any intention to cremate the girl secretly. The funeral was done according to the wishes of the family, unquote. Now, remember, the death has stirred emotions across the country with people holding candlelight vigils, protests and silent marches across the country. Protests have continued at Jantar Mantar here in the capital. There was a minor clash earlier this afternoon when some of the protesters tried to scale the barricades. Five of the protesters were later detained. Many parts of central Delhi still remain out of bounds, though the police now has reopened five of the 10 metro stations that have remained shut since yesterday. The pictures that we are bringing to you live from Jantar Mantar uh, speak uh, for themselves. Uh, a lot of people here have already converged here since morning and we've seen for the last 48 hours uh, the kind of scenes that have been witnessed in the national capital. Uh, people are expressing their anger, their anguish and their emotions in their own way with holding placards, with uh, you know, uh, doing paintings and you know, uh, projecting them here at on the road of Jantar Mantar. Many people are converging here. We know for a fact that uh, there were some metro stations that were shut uh, since yesterday but today just a little while back we've got information that five metro stations have also been uh, right now open. Delhi police uh, presence on the ground is heightened. Uh, we know for a fact that police does not want to take any chances, uh, you know, remembering the scenes that we had witnessed just about a week ago. But as far as the chorus at ground level is concerned, it's only growing louder with people wanting justice and also wanting the government to act and act fast as far as this case is concerned. We want justice, is the other voices that are echoing from behind me in chorus, and we want justice, other voices that are coming from across the country, from our metropolitan cities, from the big cities, from the north, the south, the east, the west, and even, as we saw from the smaller cities, uh, the villages there. Another report that we're getting in of a woman alleging that a doctor in Roper tried to uh, molest her. So these numbers of uh, reports that are coming in just illustrating what the people here want to change. It's a mindset that needs to change along with the inst institutions, whether it's parliament invoking those amended laws, stricter laws, the judiciary are working on fast track courts, the police being sensitized and society in the end standing up and being counted. Well, don't let her death go in vain. It's an appeal by protesters who are out to change India to make a safer place for women and end the menace of rape. All the protesters who are gathering on the streets today to condole the victim's death are also demanding change so that her death does not go in vain. Headlines today is urging its viewers to petition the government to bring in change. The government is still deaf to the voices. It is yet to call a special session of parliament. That's the first and the foremost demand of many of the protesters. The government has not amended laws to expand the definition of rape and enhance deterrent for sex crimes. 
the government needs to ensure maximum punishment for rapists which will act as a deterrent. Definition of rape also needs to be expanded and punishment for eve teasing needs to be enhanced as well. अगर वो अपने बलिदान से देश को जगा गई है तो हम सरकार से अपील करेंगे कि देश की इस जगी हुई ताकत के संबंध में उचित उत्तर दिए जाएं। देश अगर कानून की अपेक्षा करता है तो हम सरकार का पूरा सहयोग करने के लिए तैयार हैं। सरकार इसके लिए संसद का विशेष सत्र जल्द से जल्द बुलाए अगर इसके लिए फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट की स्थापना अपराधियों के खिलाफ त्वरित कार्रवाई करने की आवश्यकता है तो इन सबों का ब्लूप्रिंट बनाकर देश के सामने तुरंत प्रस्तुत किया जाए देश कार्रवाई चाहता है और हम भी सरकार से ये कहेंगे कि आप कार्रवाई करिए हम आपका सहयोग करने का सहयोग करने को तैयार हैं। In Mumbai, India's glamour capital, film celebrities took part in a candlelit vigil for the victim. I'm glad that the nation today has come together. It's not about me, it's not about the people who are here, it's about the nation that has come together. And uh, hopefully this will lead to something much bigger. Overnight in the capital where the attack had taken place, thousands turned out to show their solidarity with the bereaved family. Pressure is growing on the government to get tough on crimes against women. Six suspects have been charged with the woman's rape and murder. They came in their hundreds to mourn a young woman brutalized and to show their anger towards authorities who for years haven't seemed to care. Neither the cold nor the government's warnings against demonstrations or street blockades could put them off. Sorry, state of the nation is that we today are fighting for a basic human right, that is the right to security, and it is just not limited to women or one girl. It is for the nation at large. They pledged that the unnamed student's death would serve as a wake-up call for a country in denial about the levels of violence women face. The young student is due to be buried back in India, with its regressive attitudes to women now in the spotlight. The horrific nature of this attack has galvanized India in a way that few other issues have in recent years. They may not know her name, but she's become the face of a wider and growing anger about the treatment of women and a sense that their leaders don't care. But there have been protests before, and when the flames have died down, many ask if anything will really change.